All right, guys, we're back with part three of this video. Uh, this is going to be fairly quick here. It's going to be hard to film this, but we'll do the best I can. Um, I'm up here, up on the roof. Well, not all that, but by it anyways. Uh, this is the setup that I have um, up top. I want to show you a couple of quick things here. I've done some. Uh, I've had to do a couple things to save time because, for one thing, some of the shielding I'm using on this uh, is uh, metal and it's very sharp. Um, it's hard to work. Uh, so I'm, uh, we'll go over that in a second, but I want to show you a couple things first. Uh, here's my downspout. Uh, okay, this is this is going to come into this end piece, which is capped off at the end. Um, if you can see down in there, you're going to see that I've put a metal mesh down in here as an extra precaution for uh, catching leaves, debris, sticks, even heavy dirt. Uh, what I've done from there is I've installed this black film here up here okay this is a mosquito uh this is up this is going to prevent debris and mosquitoes mosquito larvae from getting into our water supply all right what i've done here is i run it all the way down my as you can see the black underneath this uh, mesh and it's run all the way down to the end um that is going to like i said it's going to stop any of the bad stuff from coming in we don't want mosquito larvae in our water period if we had to use this stuff for uh, emergency use uh, we don't want to have to mess with that stuff one way or another for emergency use you'd have to uh, filter it anyways but uh, still I don't want to have to deal with it um, okay so uh, this is gonna be hard to do I'm, I'm gonna pause you I'm gonna put you up on the roof here uh, on a mount I've got I'm hoping this thing is gonna be just right to where you guys can see a little bit of what I'm doing how I'm doing this uh, hang tight for just a second I'm gonna move you up here all right Let's give this a try. Hopefully this works. Um, I'm taking my netting here. All this is going to be kind of bowed up. Instead of laying flat, it's going to be kind of rounded over a little bit. Uh, this is going to create a tube down the center, which is going to allow the water to flow, but it's going to keep debris out. So I've taken this, I've already measured it out, and I'm going to tuck it down in now into my gutter. Make sure it's nice and snug. Get it down in there. All right, now here is the, the metal mesh that I'm talking about. Um, I don't recommend this stuff to you guys, and I'm definitely going to get rid of it. Uh, this stuff is really hard to work. It, it'll cut you. Um, I suggest some of the, the plastic stuff that's out that will just clip right in to these, uh, to these gutters. It's a little more expensive, but spend the extra money, guys, and, and do it that way. Uh, this stuff here, you got to kind of slide it up under the, the lip of your... Um, of the roof. It's kind of a pain in the neck with this stuff. So I'm doing the best I can here. I'm going to take it all the way to the end. This is where all the dark cuts come from. something to rest on from the gutter itself. I'm going to kind of take my hand and I'm going to gently bow it to the front so it kind of will act as a little kind of its own weight, pressure, whatever will form against the outside or the inside of the gutter. It's going to lock in. All right. So there's that. Get this end piece in. First. So this is going to ensure that we keep the sticks and dirt for the most part out. For the most part. I mean, nothing's going to be perfect. Okay. Well, I got to pull that up because I've got the mosquito barrier back there to move. There we go. Get it back in place. So this stuff's kind of a pain in the neck, but it's worth it in the end. easier to work with 
and I strongly believe that every year we're moving out. Every year this stuff kind of needs to be uh, maintained, cleaned, replaced, um, all kinds of things like that. Um, I like to replace uh, some of the parts uh, on my barrels as well as on my gutters. And I can tell you now that this wire has got to go. But for now, it'll do the job. It'll do the job for now. Alright, get that down in there. There we go. Okay. And our downspout. We're good. Okay. Now, down to here. I'm going to come down the ladder now. Sorry. Alright. Now, from here, I'm going to pause the camera. And all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the barrels back together. I had to move them so I could get up here to the gutter with my ladder. Alright, and we're going to hook up the barrels to the downspout. And we're going to actually put a hose up there. And we're going to, or a hose pipe in the south, you guys like to call them. Uh, and we're going to flush the system out. And we're going to make sure everything works good. So hang in there for just a second again. Sorry, I keep saying that. Jesus. Alright guys, we got everything done now except one more step. Uh, right now we're going to actually connect the barrels to the downspout okay um, got them in place uh, you're going to want to double check to make sure that your barrels are squared on your platforms all right don't let them hang over one side more than the other make sure you got good good straightness good squared up all the way double check them and remember, like I said, there's about 460 pounds of freaking uh, weight to these when they're full. Okay, um, one thing I want to show you real quick. First thing is our downspout tube. Okay, we're going to connect her up here. It just slides right in. There you go. Okay, now what I've done here, this is my lid to this particular type of barrel. It's an open top barrel and has these little guys in here with gaskets on them. Um, what I've done is I've drilled that hole out for the uh, 1 and 3 16 hole that I told you about. Alright, put this little guy in here, which comes in the kit. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put it down into my barrel, lock it down in. I'm going to set it up to where I like it, which is going to be a little bit over that way. Um, I don't want it all hanging out way like this. Um, keep it kind of against the house as much as possible so I'm going to put it over here uh, okay that's it um, one thing I'm going to do first before I put that in is this there it is put my screw top lid on it's going to secure everything down not worry about this thing being super clean because it ain't going to hurt nothing it's all external. So, down on there, put it on there. Good to go. Make sure she's snug. Ain't nothing, no, no outside rainwater or any debris going to get in there now. It's locked tight, airtight. Okay, I'm going to attach my hose into what I showed you. Okay, that's it. Good to go. Check, make sure we're still squared. Obviously these are empty, they're still lightweight. Um, these are going to settle a bit, so don't worry about a little bit of rocking like this or whatever. They're going to settle. It'll straighten out, trust me. Okay, now I'm going to attach my daisy chain. There we go. What we're going to do now is attach our other lid. over here as you can see water's coming out pretty good all the way down to the bottom we have all this come through here it's gonna fill our barrels looks like we have one small leak up here 
not a big deal. Once I get my end cap down on that end, I'll show you real quick here. See, we're leaking down at that other end where the hose is. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. Um, I'm going to put an end cap on that, and that's not going to leak anymore. It's going to force all that extra down here, so you're going to have twice the amount of water down here. So don't let that tiny little bit fool you.